Ty, your host, Captain Bourne. Back for another exciting edition of the 10 Minute Sports Report. This is take three of this. The first one was a hot dumpster fire. I just was not good at all. The second one, the sound bite stopped working. So hopefully third time's the charm. I'm not promising that this won't be a hot dumpster fire, but I am promising it will be more of a trash can sitting outside on a hot July evening. Let's go back to Friday, shall we? The Los Angeles Lakers closed out the Memphis Grizzlies, winning that series four games to two with a 40-point win in game six, 125-85. The leading scorer for the Los Angeles Lakers was D'Angelo Russell. He had a new career high with 31 points. The Memphis Grizzlies will take on a team that I'm kind of covering later in the sports report. So just hang on there. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. On Saturday, the Denver Nuggets get a 125-107 win over the Phoenix Suns to take a one game to nothing lead in that best of seven series as well. Jamal Murray erupted for 34 points and nine assists. Kevin Durant on Phoenix side had 29 points and 14 rebounds, but it was way not enough to keep up with the Denver Nuggets. Game two will be on Monday. On Sunday, April 30th, the Miami Heat are the first eight seed to win five of six playoff games against a higher seed. They win 108-101 to take a one game to nothing lead in a best of seven against the New York Knicks. Jimmy Butler had 25 points and 11 rebounds. However, it should be noted that he did turn his ankle halfway through that game and really was more of a stand-in-the-corner player for that half. So his availability for the rest of this series is kind of on ice right now until we hear more. I will give that to you as soon as I find out. The Golden State Warriors behind their star, Stephen Curry... Get it done on the road in Game 7. They are winners 120 to 100. Steph Curry is the first player in NBA history to score 50 points in a Game 7. He also added 8 rebounds and 6 assists. The Sacramento Kings really showed their inexperience in the second half of that game, turning the ball over, really only shooting threes and not running precise offense. So the Golden State Warriors move on to take on the Los Angeles Clippers. Game one of that series will be Tuesday. For Monday, the Philadelphia 76ers take on the Boston Celtics on the road in their game one of the Eastern Semifinals. The Phoenix Suns try to steal a game on the road as Game 2 in Denver against the Nuggets. The Suns badly want to avoid a 2 to nothing hole going down to the 1-seed Denver Nuggets. Now let's go back in time to Friday for the chase for the Lord Stanley Cups. A couple of Game 6s and secure series wins for the Carolina Hurricanes who needed overtime, but it was they were 2-1 winners. They knock off the New York Islanders and eliminate them from the NHL playoffs. The Dallas Stars use a two-goal second period on Friday to knock off the Minnesota Wild 4-1, and they win that series 4-2 as well. On Saturday, some history was reversed, but also made in a sense. The Toronto Maple Leafs, one of the most historic 
historic franchises in all the NHL finally win a playoff series. It is the first time in 19 years that the Toronto Maple Leafs win a playoff series. They were they needed overtime to do it. They were 2-1 to one winners to knock off the Tampa Bay Lightning. Also on Saturday, the Rangers used two, two goal periods, the second and the third, to knock off the New Jersey Devils to force Game 7 by a final score of 5-2. to two. The Edmonton Oilers also use two two-goal periods periods, but this time it is the first and the second to knock off the Los Angeles Kings by a final score of 5-4. to four. Some history on Sunday was also made, mostly in a bad way, I would say. The record-setting 65-win Boston Bruins, who had a two-games-to-nothing lead against the eight-seed Florida Panthers, Lost Game 7 at home in overtime by a final score of 4-3. to three. This is heartbreaking if you're a Boston fan. However, it is really upsetting because when you win 65 games, you would think that you could at least get out of the first round. Later on last night, the defending NHL champions, Colorado Avalanche, also fall at home in Game 7 to the Seattle Kraken. Now, the Avalanche were a 3 seed. The Kraken were a 6 seed, so not quite the drastic seed difference. However, when you're the defending champs, you're expected to at least be able to get out of that first round. The Kraken used two goals in the second period to knock off the defending champions. It should be noted that for a majority, if not all of this series, the Colorado Avalanche were without for multiple games, a star defenseman and two stars forward. Andrew Cogliano missed game seven after a game six neck fracture. The XFL over the weekend set up its championship games. The Dallas Renegades knock off the Houston Roughnecks by a final score of 26-11. to They will take on the D.C. Defenders, who just absolutely mollywopped the Seattle Sea Dragons by a final score of 37-21. to It should be noted that the Dallas Renegades are below 500 by a final score of 6-4. to However, the South Division division was so bad that they got into the playoffs even though they had a losing record. In some baseball news, Phillies outfield and designated hitter star Bryce Harper will return from Tommy John surgery just 160 days after the surgery takes place. It is the fastest return on record for a major league baseball player following Tommy John surgery. He had it November 23rd after a World Series run. The two-time MVP will hope to get the Phillies back on track who currently sit below 500. If you're a NASCAR fan, which I don't think anyone who listens to this is, but I'll mention it anyway, the Dove, the race at Dover got reske- got rained out and got rescheduled to Monday, May 1st, and that will take place today. I do just want to go back to NHL. There is a Game 7 on tonight. It is on ESPN, and it is on at 8 p.m. The New York Rangers battle the New Jersey Devils. They don't got to drive very far. That game, that series is tied at 3. It's win or go home for the Rangers and Devils. And that'll do it for another rendition of the 10-Minute Sports Report. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for this garbage can on a hot July evening episode. I will see everyone tomorrow for another episode. Until that time, wash your hands, you filthy animals. God bless you. Peace out. (laughs)